Are FPS games dying? And how long first person shooters will last? Say what? First person shooter games have been around for probably two decades now. We already know they aren't dying anytime soon because of the popularity of FPS games like Warzone, Fortnite, and Valorant. But are they going to die, if not already? What will eventually cause its death? A lot of info for this video comes from Shroud and other FPS players. I don't think FPS games are dying right now. I feel like it's not evolving. Nope. As much when it comes to new game modes or graphics. But that doesn't mean that it's dying. In fact, the, it's the most popular gaming genre for years right now. From statistics of Twitch and other game sales, I think the FPS genre will be one of if not the most popular genre until gaming as a whole dies so yeah i do mean it will never be fully dead but it will get less popular over time and here's why over the years the fps genre changed a lot it added more modes better graphics and controls it as a whole evolved so much never created games like battle royales and game modes like switching guns every time you get a kill for fun when they were new also from let's say the first Call of Duty to now, Warzone and Code War, the graphics really evolved. But in this new decade, it feels stale. It feels like FPS games have reached the max performance and nothing is going to change. That's why people think it's dying. Of course it feels like games have reached their limits, but first person shooters are just getting better and better and new players are still joining every day. Even when it feels like for example Fortnite is trash, a new more fun game like Valorant comes. Valorant is a huge example of why shooter games aren't dying. It has a whole new way of gameplay, it looks cool, it has characters with abilities, and even though it copied CSGO, the game mode is still super different. This is because more and more games are focusing on newer players, which makes FPS games not die. If more and more players join in, they lower the skill gap, it's actually better for the game. That's why Fortnite adds so much overpowered items and bots so new players can enjoy the games, while old players won't leave. Fortnite is just a great example too. They add building and third person just to make it feel new. The switch from competitive to more fun going to make FPS games bigger in the long run. Now let's talk about FPS competitors and how they affect these games popularity. There are always new genres that are evolving like roleplay, sandbox, sports, and racing. Will these genres take over FPS as the number one spot in the future? Probably. But we're talking about a long time until they actually even come close being as popular as first person shooters. How FPS games will die is when we eventually copy or reuse the same FPS game modes. Players are bored. At the end of the day, even though FPS games can be customized, still just an FPS game. You can't get good at mobile on an FPS game. You have to shoot and aim and stuff. With games like GTA, Rockstar Games will probably never run out of ideas. Who knows? Maybe even VR gaming could take over. Tech is getting cheaper and cheaper for this. More and more people are actually able to afford tech, especially in poorer countries outside of the US. This means more players. Shooters are a universal genre because every country has a military obviously and everyone knows how guns work. So it's just a fun genre for everyone and one of the reasons why it's the most popular gaming genre right now. A huge reason that FPS games are dying is that they're not fun to watch. I got this from Dr. Disrespect's tweet. You're not really getting any value other than learning how to play when you watch pros on Twitch or YouTube. Pretty boring to watch someone play a 20 minute game and lose, especially if they have a bad personality or boring one. Other streamers playing games are fun, for example Fall Guys. I would rather watch that instead of someone killing and dying over and over again. Nothing against FPS streamers though. Conclusion, I think FPS games will last for another two decades. CSGO and COD basically lasted two decades by itself, but the game is still evolving every day. It's just too big of a genre just to die in a year or even five years. Eventually we will get bored, so that means the only way FPS games will die is by killing itself. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this.